What's up ladies and gentlemen, Nozoop for you here, and with the inclusion of the tier 10 German carrier Max Immelman in the game for Cole, a lot of players are seeing a form of aircraft they have never seen before, and they're probably wondering what the heck they are. These are skip bombers. Skip bombers are a new type of aircraft and a new type of weapon, offensive weapon, for World of Warships and aircraft carriers. So those of you out there that don't like aircraft carriers, you're probably going to hate them even more with these. And those of you that do like aircraft carriers, this is a really neat new type of weapon that you can use that does a fair amount of damage, does really good at starting fires, and yes, you can use these against the shores as well. But one of the things people are wondering about these, how in the world do you use them? It looks like it's pretty simple, right? Well, eh, yes and no. What I'm going to do real quick, and this, this is probably going to be a very, very, very quick video. I'm going to walk you through how to use skip bombers so that if you do purchase this, you have an idea of what to do. And for those of you that don't want to purchase this, and those of you that are playing against aircraft carriers, this might give you a better idea of what you need to do to avoid these bombs. Because like I said, they do do a fair amount of damage, and they're kind of hard to avoid because once they're dropped, they go very, very fast. So let's talk about how to use skip bombers. Just like any other aircraft, you want to line your shot up. I would say these are more similar to torpedoes than actual bombers because you're not going to go up, ascend, and then descend to drop them. You're pretty much going to take a trajectory like torpedo bombers. So keep that in mind. You're going to want to line your shots up like a torpedo bomber. You know that very nice crossing the T type of thing where you're the vertical part of the T and you want to hit the ship that's horizontal to you? That's the best way to describe it. Your skip bomber squadrons have 12 aircraft in them. That's, that's a fair amount of aircraft right there, and that's going to give you three drops if you don't get your plane shot down. Now, when you go into the actual attack mode, I want to draw your attention to this. You're going to see three, I like to call these hash marks, at varying distances. Close one that's a little wider, one in the middle section that's uh, it's a little less wide than the first one and then the last one that almost looks like the stripes on a football or not the stripes but the laces these are where your bombs are actually going to skip and ultimately ultimately you want to drop as far out as possible because when you do that you have the highest chance of accuracy and landing all your shots which is what i'm going to do right here and you can see these bombs hit, and you can see this Richelieu has had a lot of damage done against it. 10, 10k plus fires. I, I mean, that is pretty significant. So, again, broadside, and you don't have to lead these quite like you do torpedoes, because, again, they go pretty quickly. Obviously, if you're going against a cruiser, yes, you're probably going to want to lead a little more. But there's something you can do against those as well. And destroyers. You don't have to drop three skips out. You can drop closer if you want, and that's what these varying hash marks are for. So you can use that first hash mark if you want to. If you want to make a quick drop and just drop it straight on the ships, and that's ultimately what you're going to want to do for destroyers right here. Now, of course, you're probably only going to land one hit on a destroyer. It's, it's going to be very hard to hit those at range. Uh, I wouldn't suggest it, but if you're up close, yes, it's, it's pretty... I'm not going to say easy to land it, but you can do it. And that, in a nutshell, are skip bombers. I mean, there's not a lot to them. It's, it's not really hard. It's, it's just a matter of making sure that your hash marks are actually on the ship you're aiming at. And you don't have to hit it from the side. You can hit it from the front as well. Now, if you do that, you're going to be less likely to land all your shots. And you might miss altogether, but you can still cause damage hitting a ship from the front. So there's no issue with that as well. But instead of landing four bombs, you might only land two or one. I, I, overall, I mean, it, it's neat. It's interesting. I think a lot of players are going to enjoy it just because it's different. A lot of you CV mains out there. So, you know, this is a coal ship. I, I would keep my eye on this ship and, you know, maybe throw some coal its way if you're a CV main. Now, for those of you that aren't CV mains and those of you that absolutely don't like CVs, avoiding these skip bombers might be a little hard, but your best course of action against them is going to be 
to turn in to these planes when they're coming in. I mean, I mean, it's basically like torpedoes. You just turn into it and you hope you avoid them. So there you have it. Those are your skip bombers in a nutshell and how to use them. So I'll do a full review on the Immelman at some point in the near future. Stay tuned for that. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Take it easy. Zoop out.